What is going on everybody? Welcome back to another video on Hopefully you guys are having a great day whenever you're seeing this. So we're here in Vegas having a great time. You guys know I like donuts. So I decided, you know what? I'm gonna get some of the best donuts in Vegas. And I'm going to let you all know which ones are the best and which ones are not the best. So without further ado, everybody, let's go get some donuts. My first stop was a place called Ronald's Donuts, which is a small donut shop on the outskirts of Vegas. They're known for their vegan donuts, but they have regular donuts too. I paid about 27 bucks for a dozen. And then it was time for Pink Box Donuts. Pink Box is like the Krispy Kreme of Vegas. They're everywhere. And they have dozens and dozens of different flavors. But for this video, I just kept it to a dozen, which was just over 34 bucks. All right, everybody, I am hyped to get into these donuts. These donuts look they look really, really good before I get into them, though. I'm actually just having some water today, keeping it light, kind of. <laughs> so everyone, on my table right now, I have the top rated donuts in Las Vegas. The first box over here is from a place called Pink Box. The flavors they have are absolutely insane. The other place I went to is a place called Ronald's Donuts. So I'm gonna get into these donuts right here and let you all know which ones are the best ones. But most importantly, I'm gonna let you know which donut spot is really the top donut spot in Las Vegas. But before I get into the donuts, it's time for me to give a quick shout out to this week's sponsor, Zbiotics. Every so often, I like to be an adult and I like to go out and enjoy some alcoholic beverages. But unfortunately, what happens the day after is not always so fun. I usually can't train the day after because I feel horrible. A lot of people out there actually assume that the reason you feel horrible is because you're dehydrated after you drink. But it's actually from something called acetyl aldehyde. Now the people over at Zbiotics have actually created a special unique probiotic drink that's meant to specifically break down acetyl aldehyde. All you have to do is drink it before you start drinking your alcohol, and from there you can just let it do its job. And then the next day you can wake up and feel refreshed. Here's the deal everyone, Zbiotics is gonna hook you up with 15% off your first order today. All you gotta do is head over to zbiotics.com slash electrics, or you can just click the link down below in the description. Once again, that's zbiotics.com slash electrics to get 15% off your first order today. Now let's get into some donuts. So Ronald's Donuts, first of all, just hooked it up because I ordered a dozen and they gave me one, two, 13, 14. So she gave me some extra donuts. I'm gonna start off with this thing right here, which looks really, really tasty. To me, it looks like it's a, like a flour tortilla that's like deep fried and it has like cinnamon sugar on it. Let's see what Ronald's Donuts is all about. Oh my God. That is absolutely amazing. It's an apple filling. Like everything about that is good. That's good enough to eat two of them. First donut from Ronald's was a eight out of 10. Although I can't really call that a donut because it to me wasn't like, it didn't look like a donut. But let's actually try one of their real donuts. I'm not sure what these are right here, but these looked really, really like different. So I decided to get these. I'm not sure what the filling is on the inside, but. It's <coughs> pretty dense. Powdered sugar, oh my goodness. Oh, this is horrible. That's like a lemon donut. Ooh, I don't do lemon donuts. Mmm, this is good. Chocolate on the inside. I think, yep. Yeah, that's tasty. That one is most definitely gonna be like a three out of 10. This, I give it a seven out of 10. I'm gonna get into this one right here. I'm skeptical about this. Pretty much every time I've had donuts with cereal on them, the cereal's always stale. So here we go, let's see. Wow. Oh no, yeah. that's definitely stale. It's not horribly stale though. Well, this one is like a custard filled donut. Oh my goodness. That is a rich donut. Wow. Cereal donut, seven out of 10. That custard donut, I'd give that a, uh, give that an eight out of 10. This is the bear claw, let's try this out. Oh my goodness. <clears throat> One of the best bear claws I've ever had in my entire life. Just like the flavor, everything is so good. The one thing, like these donuts have a lot on them. There's a lot of cinnamon sugar everywhere. I'm just gonna try one of their original sprinkled donuts. This is the first cake donut I've had from them. Um, it's definitely not bad. I'm a cake donut connoisseur. Yeah, I'm just gonna say it's not bad. This one's not bad either. This donut right here, I've been looking forward to the most. <laughs> because I love buttermilk bars and I have a buttermilk bar from here and also from Pig Box. So we're gonna see which one has the better buttermilk bar. Mm, not a fan. This honestly just looks like a basic cinnamon roll, but let's see what it's gonna taste like. Yep, kind of just a basic cinnamon roll. Honestly, a little bit stale. The texture of the actual donut itself is actually not bad, but we'll not get this again. 
Now this one I'm actually really curious about. I think this is like a strawberry. Raspberry. Oh, no thank you. I would actually say I was looking forward to this one more than the buttermilk bar because if you know me, you know that I love apple fritters with all my heart. And the way that I judge a donut place is by their apple fritter. I definitely tend to like crispier apple fritters and this one is like, like this is like a rock. So uh, let's see if it's gonna taste good. Here we go. Oh man. Mmm. 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 That is good. Everybody, Ronald's Donuts. Those are rich donuts, but they are good. If you're gonna go to Ronald's, I would definitely go with the apple fritter, the bear claw, or the burrito thing I had earlier. Now everyone, it's time to get to Pink Box Donuts. Goodness, these donuts are like, every time I eat sugar, I get like so thirsty. Everyone's probably like, Eric, why did you just decide to eat so many donuts? Everybody, you know what? When I travel, I like to go to donut places and I like to indulge in some donuts, all right? And in Vegas, you know, donuts are good here. So if you guys like these videos, just let me know. I'll keep eating donuts. I feel like I do so many of these donut videos in like different cities. I should actually just start a series where I just eat at the top rated donut spots wherever city I'm in. If you guys want me to do a series like that, just let me know down below in the comments. Now everyone, I got this one for the thumbnail because it had like cute sprinkly colors on it. This is called the Tutti Fruity Donut. Not usually a huge fan of fruit, cereal and stuff, but you know what, it, it looked good. So here we go. This cereal donut is way better than the one from Ronald's. Now I have no idea why, but I decided to get a carrot cake donut. I despise carrot cake. Literally, this makes no sense to me. <laughs> My brain was just not working, apparently. <sighs> Man, I'm an idiot for ordering. <laughs> The next one right here is called the Big Samoan. I believe it, I believe that's what it's called. I'm pretty sure I ate this last year when, when we came to Vegas. Like I've definitely been to Pink Box before. I've actually been to Pink Box twice. Some of these donuts I've definitely had before. Some of them I haven't had before. This looks like a play on like a Girl Scout cookie. Oh yeah, mm. that is chocolatey caramel deliciousness. Mm. Yeah, that one's good. Now I got their buttermilk bar as well. So let's see what the buttermilk bar from Pink Box is all about. Oh my goodness. That is amazing. It's so good. That is one of the best buttermilk bars I've ever had. And now I'm gonna get into this one right here. I don't know what this one is. It looks like there's just a lot going on here. I see a golden Oreo and I see other icing on top of it. It just tastes like icing on the inside. There's nothing special about this donut at all. <laughs> this one's not bad. Now, believe it or not, everyone, this is actually the first cronut I ever had. Christy actually took me to Pink Box a few years ago and had me try their cronut. Tastes just as good as the first time I had it. Layers on layers on layers. It's like a Nutella cronut. I don't know what that was, but mm. this one is so sweet. So far, I have a massive sugar rush going on. Yeah, um, that's to be expected. Cookies and cream. This is just like icing and cookies and cream. I'm gonna need coffee at some point <laughs> after I'm done. Whew. I'm actually gonna get to this one right here. This is the holy cannoli. It literally tastes just like a cannoli and I love cannolis. Mm. This one right here, I believe is the cherry bomb. Oh my goodness. There's like cherry deliciousness. Oh yeah. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be a mess. This donut is like a sweetness overload. Mm. Now everyone, we made it to the donut that I actually can remember having. This is, this is the smashing apple donut. It literally tastes like an apple pie. Mm. That was absolutely amazing. The best donuts from Pink Box for me are definitely their cronut, their chocolate cronut, and their buttermilk bar. Those are my top three. Ronald's Donuts was amazing, Pink Box was amazing, but in my opinion, if you're gonna come to Vegas and you're between donut shops, I would go to Pink Box. But don't get me wrong, Ronald's was amazing too, but Pink Box for me just has a wide variety of flavors and they just do it really, really good. But I do wanna know down below, if you've had any of these donuts from any of these places, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. And while you're down below in the comments, don't forget to give the video a like, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.